In today's video, we will be interviewing the person I filmed for the smoke addiction. Let's go. If you are new here to the A to the Z show, I'm Ashley Zachary. And if this is your first time here to the channel, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to continue to get this wonderful content. All right. All right. So let's go right into it. What's your name, miss? DeSoda. DeSoda. And where are you from? Uh, I live in California, but I'm from originally from Detroit. And if you don't already know, this is my mother, DeSoto Johnson. Turn to the left, turn to the right. Yes, we look identical. Yes, indeed. Yes, we do. Um, so we're here to, just to interview about your process of um, your first time on film and uh, what was your process in doing this short film. So let's start with the first question. The first question is, um, what was your process in doing this short film, Smoke Addiction, of getting prepped as an actor? I just made up my mind to stop. S stop smoking in the film? Yeah. Okay. okay. In the film, I, ma I made up my mind to stop. Okay, and uh, what did you learn about being on set? Uh, that is hard. Oh, it's hard being on set, you know, <laughs> you got to be on cue and, and everything. So it and was an adventure. And learn your lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was the process of, um, the many takes we had to do? What did you feel? Oh, no, that was, that was very hideous, <laughs> but I, I made it through. I made it through. <laughs> okay. Um, how did you feel about breaking the prop cigarettes <laughs> on set when it was time? Let me tell you. I kept them all. I smoked each one that I broke. I went back and smoked those cigarettes. Okay. I'm a true, I, would, I am a true smoker. You know what I'm saying? Nothing goes to waste when you're a true smoker. Okay, but what was your your process of that was it hard to break was it easy was it just it was hard it, it was hard it was it was like breaking a piece of wine candy it kept twisting and i just couldn't make myself break them and then uh you told me you said come on i was like okay you know but i broke them in a point where uh, i could go back and smoke them okay but even though you broke them in a point that you went back and you smoked them but in the midst of you breaking them, was it some kind of relief that you felt? Um, because in the moment of, of those few seconds of you breaking them, it looked and it appeared that you really wanted to stop. Yes. Okay. I, I, I did and I do. Okay. And it was very hard to, to do that. You know, even though they were props, it was still very hard. You know how much cigarettes cost a pack? Yeah, I had to buy the prop cigarettes, so I'm, um, I, I do. Um, so how many cigarettes did you smoke last year per day, and how many cigarettes are you at today per day? Well, last year I was about at uh, 30 cigarettes or more a day. Hmm. And now I'm at about 10, maybe a wow. little more. Wow. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, that that is, you have to give credit when credit is due and definitely congratulations. Um, for smoking, how many years have you been smoking? I've been smoking here since I was 17. 17, and you're like 61 years young? Yeah, I'll be 61 in September. Wow, wow. Um, have you ever tried to quit smoking before? No. No. Okay. Um, are you trying? I've slowed, I've slowed down. Okay. I made myself slow down, but I've never just said, this is it. I'm going to quit. Okay. And no, when, last year, when I made that 
video, I made up my mind that I was going to quit. Okay. And so are you trying to quit now? Yes. 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 And I got, I have good help. I have good support. Okay. And what, what are you using to assist you with stop for you to quit smoking? Well, my doctor provided, uh, Shantex. That Mm -hmm. was the first one. Uh, that didn't agree with me. Okay. And then, uh, they put a smart call 1-800. Oh, don't we know it? Why didn't it agree with you? It, it made my attitude change and then I had some nightmares. So, and that's part of the uh, side effects of that particular medicine for, for stopping smoking. So I couldn't do that one. So okay. I let that go and uh, I didn't let that discourage me because I went, when I told my doctor about it, uh, she told me to call 1-800-BUTS. Okay, okay. 1-800, no buts. No buts. And uh, what's the process of that right now? How many, what did the they process give you? Of that, they gave me a 21-day supply of patches. Mm, okay. That really and truly work. Okay, okay. And, and how that's, many that's days it. are you into your 21? And my 21 days is today. Wow. I'm putting, I'm putting on my last patch today. You know, uh, just got out the shower so the skin is a little wet. And you have to be totally dry in order for, for it to stick. Okay. And you need to get the pull it back. So when I get through with this, I'm going to put my patch on. And um, come tomorrow or come Saturday when I go home, I am going to go and get me some, uh, it's called Nigoderm. Mm, Nigoderm. And uh, continue on with my patches because they really and truly help. They got me down to nine. And to me, that is, that's amazing to go from 30 to nine. And I, they call me every two days oh. to see how I'm doing, to see if I exceeded the, uh, where I'm at now, which is the nine cigarettes. And and they give it, me encourage if I have, they don't just chew me out. They they encourage me to say, well, you know what? To say this is your first time, believe me, you're doing a lot, okay. you know, but I'm determined. Okay. Um, do you, have you looked into any activities to replace smoking or to help you get along? Well, I said I was going to start crocheting, but uh, I think that's... I have everything, but I haven't picked it up. And I got a couple of projects that I want to work on, like my bingo box. I got the stuff at home to start my bingo box. I'm going to keep my hands busy because I think what it is for me, it's just a cigarette in my hand. Oh, yeah. Because I burn up a lot of cigarettes, you know, doing something else. Okay. I light them, take a couple of puffs, and sit them in the ashtray, and I'm going about doing something else. Yeah, I come back, the cigarette is gone, you know. Okay. And um, to wrap up this interview, what uh, can you give someone any encouraging words to assist them in their process if they're struggling with the battle of being addicted to cigarettes? You know, no matter how many times you quit or how many times you try to quit, it's that 101 time that you'll make it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to keep trying, and it's going to be that one time that I won't pick up another cigarette. Wow. And talk to somebody else that smokes. And even if you don't be around smokers, you know, like I am, I'm not around people that smoke. So that's an encouragement too. I said that was going to be my last question, but I have another question. Um, throughout the smoking addiction video, uh, short film, uh, you see the progression of Ashley Zachary, which is myself. And yes, I talk about myself in a third person. Um, do you remember each time me coming to you, starting from a little girl and even asking now, do you remember those times of me coming to you? 
I remember a couple of them. Not every time. Okay. Because it was quite frequent, but I remember a couple of them that, that made me tear up, you know. And when your child can make you tear up just from smoking, you know, you try to get on that bandwagon and do something. Okay. And for me in this process as a filmmaker, I wanted to bring something that rung true to me because throughout this uh, short film, I was, uh, it was a short film contest and you needed to create a story using the, the sound. And the sound was um, a change is coming. And so I immediately thought of my mother and the battle that she has with smoking. And so I was able to like, hey, if it was only two pages, it's not that long, but I just wrote it down and I had my niece and another niece in it um, to uh, play the younger Ashley Zachary um, because it rings so true for me. And, um, and this was my first time using my gimbal. This was my first time directing and producing and um, being a director of photography on this. So um, it was a learning moment for me and being able to articulate myself when I'm trying to get a five-year-old to be on cue or a 15-year-old that doesn't have any acting experiences to deliver their line, to make sure they're loud enough. And for my mom, uh, we, we went back and forth about you breaking those cigarettes because she's like, no, I'm not gonna break them. I'm like, yes, you are. It's part of the script. <laughs> so I think for me, and being in it, it was a little challenging, but for me, uh, learning those different parts of my craft that I take very seriously was very helpful. Um, and it's an experience just to be able to work with your mom. So I'm very thankful. Um, and my advice that I have for anyone out there that's encouraging people to stop smoking is to um, ask them, what can you do in the process? Uh, when she was taking that medicine, what is it called? Nor Chantex. Chantex or yeah, that the one that you were taking, me and my brothers was like, hey, um, your mama is gone crazy because she was, <laughs> <laughs> we was like really trying to walk on eggshells because that medicine had her going, woo, 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 woo. But uh, once she stopped taking it, we was like, okay, we're, we're, we're back. And we can just deal with the, the menopause flashes that we can <laughs> So I am um, definitely thankful for the process. And thank you for doing this interview. I really appreciate it. You're thank welcome. You. I love you. See you again in a year. All right. I love you too. <laughs>